in oracle r12 you can automatically generate payables invoices from the material receipt you have entered for a purchase order which is also called a self billing that is automatic billing from a material receipt this increases your productivity as you do not have to enter the invoices manually and you do not have to match them to the purchase order and also it allows you to manage your working capital more effectively so let us see how to do the setups for pay on receipt functionality and we will carry out a transaction flow for the same let us see the first step is to set up the supplier site for pay on receipt so this is oracle let us go to supplier and query an existing supplier let us say about laboratories to set this supplier for pay on receipt go to the purchasing tab go to self billing and set up pay on receipt and also set up the invoice summary level to receipt and save the changes the next step is to ensure that the user from which you have logged in is a buyer so that you can enter a purchase order and you also have to set up the po approvals so that the buyer can approve a po and from the approved po you can do the material receipt to see whether your existing user is a buyer or not you have to first go to the system administrator and check who is the employee for the user that you are using so if we have logged in as operations note the person stock pat and to ensure that this person is a buyer go to purchasing buyer search center go to buyers and query the user stock pack has already been registered as a buyer if it is not registered as a buyer you can add stock pack as a buyer from this plus sign set up the po approvals setting up the po approvals is a long process and that's a different topic once you have set up the po approval set up the rcv processing that is the receipt processing when you enter a material receipt go to system administrator and go to profile options query a profile option called rcv processing for the responsibility that you are using rcv processing mode keep it as batch because there are two options one is batch and immediate in some of the r12 instances immediate results into an error so keep it as batch when this option is batch the processing of the material receipt has to be done in a batch manner that means you have to run a request to process a batch once done with the rcv processing open all the periods that is the gl period purchasing period payables period and the inventory period once you have done that let us see how we can do the transactions for a pay on receipt invoice so first you have to enter a purchase order go to purchasing responsibility go to purchase order and enter a purchase order for the supplier that you have set up for pay on receipt select an item
select the quantity give a promise date give a need by date and open the shipments choose the organization ship to location and save it click on approve click okay and see that the status of the PO is approved note the PO number in the notepad then make a material receipt against this PO we have created a purchase order we have approved the purchase order. Now we will create a material receipt. Go to receiving receipts. Select the organization that is V1 and enter the purchase order that you created 6576. Select the quantity, enter the quantity that you have received. If it is full quantity, keep the full amount of quantity and choose a sub inventory, say stores and save the receipt. Note the receipt number. Then go to controls, say reports run and to process the receipt run a request called as receiving processor, RCV receiving, receiving transaction processor. Give the operating unit, vision operations and submit. Allow the request to complete until then you can refresh the data. So we completed a purchase order, we approved it, we entered a material receipt, we have run the RCV processor that is the receiving transaction processor. Wait until the request is completed normal. This request receiving transaction processor would run a request pay on receipt auto invoice which will populate the interface table of the invoice in payable. In turn it will also run the payables open interface import which will import the records from the interface table and that will create an invoice in payable. Wait until this request is completed normal. So we are currently at the last stage. RCV processor is running and we have to see whether the invoice is generated by the processor. Once it is completed normal, go to view output and see the report. Note the invoice number. in the notepad and open the invoices window in payable. Go to invoices, entry, invoices and query the number that you have noticed. You can prefix it 
with ERS, Evaluated Receipt Settlement. And this is an invoice automatically generated from the material receipt which was created for a purchase order. Invoice number ERS 9071 and the number that you had noted. 9071 is the number of the receipt. This is the amount taken calculated by the quantity and the price given in the purchase order and the receipt. In the results, we view the auto generated invoice which we have actually already viewed. Thank you and I hope this video will be useful for you. Bye bye.